Hello and welcome, wonderful people. A few weeks ago, I finished a course on natural history illustration where I did many assignments using only pencils. It's a medium I did not use often in my previous years, but I did in my teen years. So I used some of the pencil I still had. For greater value, uh, values, I needed some softer pencils too and purchased the few that I was missing. When I did that, I saw the perfect pencil by Faber-Castell. It already caught my eye a few times in stationery stores and yeah, I felt tempted once again. The one I got was the cheap version for about 9 euros. I've seen versions for 5 euros, but also those for several hundred euros from Graf von Faber-Castell, the more exquisite ones of course. The pencil comes packaged in some plastic with a little paper leaflet. It's a B pencil and shorter in length than a normal Faber-Castell graphite pencil, which I do own too. And the one I compare it to is a freshly bought one, so it's not like a sharp, sharp and short. Yeah, uh, so you can see the perfect pencil is pencil is really shorter in length. When scribbled on paper it feels exactly the same, but compared with Mars Lumograph it feels a bit harder. I have a preference for soft pencils that glide over paper and with this one you definitely can feel the texture of the paper a bit more. What seems to be special about this pencil is the cap and the eraser at the end. I did try out the eraser, which erased well, just as a regular Faber-Castell eraser. The bigger version is one I use regular, regularly, and I do like it. Um, the cap was a bit of a mystery to me. I tried figuring out what was special about it. Of course, it has the sharpener included, which I think is a clever design. The cap fits on other pencils too, so I can use it once this pencil is used up. There are Pencil refills in a shorter length too if you want to replace a pencil in that exact size. Before I started drawing, I did try the pencil out to see what range of values I could get from this one. And I can tell you, for me it's not enough for a full-on drawing. But of course, this is just a B pencil and not a magical drawing wand. Um, you can see I rewatched Harry Potter over Easter. The pencil feels nice in my hand, but also is as short as the ones I've been using for months already. It doesn't feel special to me. And yeah, this is something I kind of thought about a lot. When drawing, I hardly use the eraser, only for a test, which you can see at the end of the video. The big feature of this pencil is the cap. It has a clip and seems handy to protect the sharpened pencil when thrown in a bag and used on the go. I like that it's slim and has a sharpener included. When I tried it, it felt the sharpener felt less sharp than my other sharpeners, like the blade, and felt kind of rough on the pencil. It's definitely not my favorite sharpener and I think it could be better quality. The cone is a standard one, not a long one, but luckily also not a very short one when you sharpen the pencil, so um, yeah, it's totally sufficient. I think it was a good choice to make it a B pencil, as HB are used more often, but are less dark. Blackwing too has the softness of a B pencil, which feels nicer to use than a HB one and looks better on the paper even for writing. It's the softness I do prefer for regular usage too. So I'm very happy with how it performed like as a B pencil. When I pursued with the drawing I realized that I missed the darkest values and used a Mars Lumograph 8B pencil to create those to bring some life into the drawing, but it's not something that the perfect pencil lacks. As I mentioned, it's only a B pencil, so I can't 
expect to create a full-on drawing with this one pencil only. And I think it's very well visible in the drawing that the 8B is just what I needed. So how do I feel about this pencil in, the pencil in the end? To be fair, I'm kind of indifferent towards it. And I think it's mainly because it doesn't feel like an art supply to me, but more like a stationary item. And as a stationary item, I do like it. The cap is really clever and I will use it on my pencils during travel to avoid bringing an extra sharpener and to protect the, the point. This is very handy to have for something I do like. But as an art supply, I'm not impressed. There are better sharpeners out there for artistic purposes, which run smoother and have a sharper blade. The B pencil is nice, but for watercolors I do use a lighter pencil to make the lines less visible. For pencil drawings, I use a variety of pencils to create all the values that I want. So only one pencil isn't enough there. There, I also like my pencils to be longer, so they last for a longer while. In a pencil case or pen case, the shorter pencil with cap makes more sense, of course. So that's why I think it's more of a stationary item, not an art supply. So this is why I think it's more of a stationary item and measured by that, it's a neat one. What do you think about this pencil? Have you tried it out and what are your experiences? Especially about the sharpener, because I wonder if mine is a dull one and others might be better, perhaps, or if it's a general problem with these. And how are the more expensive ones? Because I do not intend to buy the 200 euro version just to try the sharpener on it, you know. Um, but I was also thinking that those might be better or not. I'm very curious about that and if you have experiences with them, I would love to read them. This is a short review of course, but I hope it helps if you too felt tempted by the perfect pencils. With the same purchase I got myself some of the pit graphite matte pencils too, which are supposed to have less shine than other graphite pencils. I'm very curious about those. So if you can endure another drawing, I'll review those in the next video before I go back to watercolors. Pencils in general are a great tool in my opinion and a great start into art. They are very cheap in comparison to other art supplies and very versatile. They do not require very expensive paper or many tools around it. They can be used on the go very well and in my opinion the best tool to learn the most important skills when starting with art. Drawing, perspective, values, all can be learned by using pencils. They were my tool of choice when I was a teen. Graphite pencils and charcoal, then some acrylics and oils. It was a time when I didn't like watercolors. Can you imagine that? <laughs> I used them on, uh, I used them for portrait drawings, drawings of my pets, basically anything. So if anyone just starts out with art and wants to learn, I would advise to start drawing to learn the basic skills. The pencils, like any pencil, is the best tool. Was there something that you love because it was your entryway into art? Kind of like I feel about pencils maybe. I'm very curious about that. I also hope you all can deal with a few more pencil drawings on this channel. Have a wonderful day everyone and I hope to see you soon. Bye!